Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. So on that note, let's start this video. So now let's see the first question. What is the user edge cloud model? So what it is about? So for first question, the correct answer is third option. A distributed computing environment with resource allocation across user devices, edge nodes and cloud servers. So mark third option as correct answer for first question. Guys, please make your classmates also join in this. If it is your semester subject, then definitely your classmates are also maybe doing this course. So make sure that you join other other classmates and friends also in this course in this within 89 pack so next let's move on to the second question second one what is the challenge in resource allocation in a multi edge node scenario so for second question the correct answer is first option coordination between cloud and edge nodes so mark first option as correct answer for second question so now let's move on to the third one i mean the third question So third question, what is a public cloud environment? So for third question, the correct answer is third option, a cloud environment where the cloud provider offers different pricing modes for, for cloud services based on demand characteristics. So mark third option as correct answer for third question. So now let's move on to the fourth question. So fourth one, what is the resource allocation problem? So what is the resource allocation problem? So for fourth question, the answer could be second option because uh, in the lectures it is mentioned it is related to decision making. So I am giving the answer as second option decision making problem because when uh, re resource allocation may involve so which resource should be allocated so it, it is it involving a decision right so decision making problem I think so now let's move on to the fifth question so fifth one What does the critic network do in the DDPG, DDPG algorithm? So guys, actually, these both came under the, I mean, both involves that statement. But in the lecture, it is mentioned that the critic evaluates actors performs through a value function. Until then, it is given. And they are also given that this second option will guide the actor's next action. That means the critic do it directly and that will be helpful in guiding actors necessary action. So I think option second option should be given preference because it is directly linked with critic network and the third option is the consequence of the second option. So I think I, uh, we should go with second option. So I think second option could be the most probable one. Guys if you confirm it you can do that in the comment section. But I am going with second option here because it is direct consequence of critic network. They have also asked that what does the critic network do? Based on the second option, third will be happen. But second one is direct intervention of this critic. It, critic is directly involved in this option. So sixth one, sixth question. Guys, from here onwards, no question is direct i mean almost all questions are not directly mentioned in the lectures 
except seventh question i think so let's see the sixth one what is the purpose of edge locations in aws infrastructure so for sixth question i think the probable answer is third option to cache frequently accessed content and reduce latency for end users so i think third option is the correct answer for sixth question guys so it is not directly mentioned in the lecture i think you can please confirm this in the comment section but i think most probably third one is the correct answer so now let's move on to the seventh question which layer of aws architecture includes amazon ec2 and aws lambda so for seventh question the correct answer is first option compute layer so in compute layer we you can see amazon ec2 and aws lambda right so next question eighth one which of the following is a type of edge location in aws so this is also not directly mentioned but here uh, they they have given availability zone region and edge location as three different components so so option 3 may be the possible one guys direct connect location so it it is maybe the type of edge location within this two will be the answer guys definitely none of the above and third option but i am going with third option here because till now they did not given none of the above option i think because these two are mentioned along with edge location as three different components so third one may be the probable solution but there is no direct evidence given in the lecture material i think so next question ninth one which aws service enables you to launch and manage virtual servers in the cloud so for ninth question the probable answer is first option amazon ec2 so it is also not directly mentioned but i have gathered this in the amazon web service it is indirectly mentioned so i am giving first option as the probable one in ninth question as as ninth question answer so now let's move on to the final question of the this assignment that is 10th one which aws service provides a way to replicate data between regions for disaster recovery purposes so for this final question the probable answer is first option again amazon s3 it is also mentioned indirectly in amazon website so i think most probably first option is the correct one so that's it guys for this week so hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please like this video and share this link to your friends also guys and make them join in this 89 pack with this you can get but for 89 per month pack you can get all the assignments within the month right so hope you like this video then click the like button and please share this within your whatsapp group guys if if this is your semester subject then many of your classmates may be doing that in your college so make sure you share this video link in your whatsapp groups and telegram groups and make everyone almost everyone of your classmates and friends join in this so hope you do that do that keep supporting me like this so until the next video goodbye thank you